The speed burst. What's the Kelly? Oh my goodness. What a goal from Nathan McKinnon. You're looking at one of the dominant players in the hockey world right now. A player whose intensity rivals the likes of Kobe Bryant and has become one of the best centers in modern NHL history. However, his journey to get to this point wasn't easy. This is the story of Nathan McKinnon. Growing up in the close-knit community of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, Nathan McKinnon would lace up his skates. Inspired by hometown legend Sidney Crosby, McKinnon's journey would start on the very same rinks. The town quickly became aware of his talent when McKinnon recorded 200 points in 50 games when he was 11. Then when he was 12 and 13, he was recording seasons of 110 and 145 points respectively. But with promise comes pressure. The whispers began, was this kid the next Crosby? In the world of hockey, comparisons are a double-edged sword. They can lift you as quickly as they can weigh you down. For McKinnon, every stride on the ice was a battle against expectations. Like Crosby, McKinnon would go to enroll at Shattuck St. Mary's, the prep school hockey powerhouse, and play two years there. However, unlike Crosby, McKinnon failed to make the varsity team, and he would find himself returning to Canada to play junior hockey. Because of this, McKinnon would be drafted first overall in the QMJHL by Bay Camus in 2011. However, after some hockey politics, he would be traded to the Mooseheads. Nathan would go to play two years here, dominating and leading the team to a Memorial Cup in the 2012 and 2013 season. He was even given the tournament MVP after scoring seven goals and six assists in four games. McKinnon was finally starting to break free from Crosby's shadow and start his own path in the NHL. The Halifax Mooseheads, Nathan McKinnon. This would be a decision that would soon reshape the franchise. This moment marked the beginning of a new era, not just for the Avalanche, but for McKinnon himself. With a hot start in the NHL, McKinnon's debut would lead him to the Calder Memorial Trophy, leading all rookies with 24 goals and 39 assists. Now, like any other sport, being drafted first overall comes with a ton of expectations, and despite McKinnon's successful debut season, both fans, critics, and even himself started to doubt whether or not he could become one of the greats in the NHL. And after a horrible 2016 season, people started to look at McKinnon's numbers and came to the conclusion that he wasn't living up to the hype. Hockey is a team sport, and it can be quite hard to find success as a young player on a terrible team. Pressure started to build, and worst of all, McKinnon started losing faith in himself and would later admit that he was scared of being labeled a bust. But I also was scared of being a bust. I mean, I went first overall. It seemed like McKinnon's confidence was at an all-time low. This is a classic example where the expectations and shoulds create noise and tension in a player's mind, which ultimately decreased their performance. At this point, he had not achieved his desired results in back-to-back -back seasons, and this created a compound effect which, for most athletes, fuels their inner critic and destroys their self-confidence. His mentality hit a rock bottom in his professional career, and started putting a ton of pressure on himself as he watched other emerging stars, like Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, and Kucherov, start to post massive numbers. In a way, he was experiencing imposter syndrome. He was questioning his ability as a player, and if he would ever amount to all the hype. So what was he missing? It was his mindset. Confidence is everything in sports, especially hockey. The game is so fast and dynamic that even a second of hesitation can have a huge impact on the game. Confidence is something he would openly admit he was struggling with after the 2016-2017 season and viewed himself as an average player. McKinnon, determined to find success, realized a change was needed. It wasn't just about physical skill, it was about developing a Mamba mentality and gaining a psychological edge. He invested in himself, adopting a rigorous diet, a dedicated workout regimen, and most importantly, he started working with a sports psychologist. McKinnon was doing everything he could off the ice so he could start to find success on it. 
This new mindset and preparation skyrocketed his productivity and would go on to score 39 goals and 58 assists in the 2017 to the 2018 season. And ever since then, he hasn't slowed down. McKinnon's new intensity on the ice was noticed immediately and started to expect the same thing from every single teammate. His ex-teammates even compared him to the likes of Michael Jordan, saying his leadership style was harsh, but he only wanted what was best for the team. It was deemed that anything but the Stanley Cup was deemed a failure. McKinnon's gameplay evolved. From a talented player to a dynamic leader on the ice, he began attacking the game, seizing opportunities, and driving his team forward. McKinnon's new offensive success can be directly related to his confidence. After the dreadful 2016 year, McKinnon has put up 30 goals every season, excluding the COVID shorted year. Before that, he was not even able to hit 25 in a season. Now, despite this newfound confidence and mentality, the Avalanche still kept falling short of the NHL's most prestigious award, the Stanley Cup. But I feel like, I mean, I'm going in my ninth year next year and I haven't won shit, so I'm just after starting to dominate in the NHL, it wasn't until the 2021 to 2022 season that McKinnon would finally see all his dreams become reality. The season saw fierce competition with teams like the Florida Panthers setting remarkable records. Yet in the heart of Colorado, a storm was brewing, a storm led by the relentless force of Nathan McKinnon. After a great regular season, the Avalanche were back in the playoffs. The playoffs were intense, game after game, McKinnon's intensity, skill, and leadership shined through, steering the Avalanche closer to the Stanley Cup. After some hard-fought playoff battles, the Avalanche would eventually find themselves playing against the Tampa Bay Lightning in the finals. In a thrilling six-game series, the Avalanche would beat the Lightning, and Nathan McKinnon would finally become a Stanley Cup champion. And because of this, it has led to something even better the Colorado Avalanche signed Nathan McKinnon to an eight-year contract extension worth $100.8 million and has become the highest paid player in the entire NHL. McKinnon didn't take this contract lightly and started to perform even better and would put up 111 points in 71 games for a 1.56 points per game in the 2022 to the 2023 season. Now, what makes McKinnon one of the best players on the planet? It seems like he's one of the only players in the NHL who can't be bullied or contained. And because of this, he's become one of the most unguardable players in the NHL. When you watch him skate, shoot, or play the body, it is extremely aggressive and carries an intensity that is reminiscent of Kobe Bryant. When you look at his offensive impact, McKinnon has one of the most lethal snapshots in the entire league and often makes it look effortless. McKinnon's release is a classic example of precision and timing over raw power. While he does possess power, McKinnon finds most of his success with a lightning fast release and perfect placement. From backhand to release, it's all one swift motion with perfect placement, making it incredibly hard to stop. Now other than Connor McDavid, I don't think there's anyone more intimidating picking up speed and heading down the ice. McKinnon times his speed and acceleration into his puck touches flawlessly, and as a result, it often leads to him blowing past defenders. For a lot of players, it can be a habit to start the acceleration after they get the puck. However, due to McKinnon's IQ and understanding of the game, he's able to time his arrival onto the puck while already starting his acceleration. This is incredibly dangerous for teams on the defensive end, especially considering that his first three steps are incredibly explosive. In a league where physicality is at an all-time low, Nathan McKinnon stands out for his remarkable physical strength and intensity. With the league now emphasizing speed and finesse, McKinnon's ability to thrive in gritty physical matchups sets him apart. He's not only good at absorbing hits, but is also capable of delivering impactful checks. This combination of delivering and withstanding physical play adds a crucial dimension to his game allowing him to dominate in various situations on the ice. McKinnon's physicality is a key component of his all-around game, making him one of the most complete players and intimidating players in the league. Now, some people believe his intensity and leadership style can harm a team, but his intensity is what makes him, in my opinion, one of the best leaders in the NHL right now. Avalanche coach Jared Bednar has said it's a feisty leadership style, and Bo Byram has also stated that it requires tough skin. 
but it's the competitiveness and intensity that makes this Avalanche team a nightmare to deal with. When you have a leader like Nathan McKinnon demanding excellence, everyone is going to step up and start to approach the game in the same style. Even when McKinnon is having an off night, he's able to fire the team up. Flash forward to today, and McKinnon is one of my favorites to win the 2024 MVP award, and it seems he's becoming even more unstoppable. Incredible. You almost have no words with the game on the line. Dishes out as well as he takes. Welcome to the National Hockey League. As we look to the future, Nathan McKinnon's path in the NHL appears brighter than ever. Poised to achieve new heights, McKinnon stands on the brink of further solidifying his status as one of the greats. With the potential to win more MVP awards and additional Stanley Cups, his journey is far from over. And I think it's fair to say that if he continues on his path, he will end up in the Hall of Fame. If we can take anything from Nathan McKinnon and his greatness, it's that the best athletes in the world prioritize their mental game. As we celebrate the achievements and look forward to the continued legacy of Nathan McKinnon, the world of hockey never stops presenting us with new tales of extraordinary talent. One such rising star capturing the imagination of fans is Connor Bedard. Just as we've explored the journey of McKinnon, it's now time to delve into another exciting story.